Well, hey everyone. I thought I'd come to you and let you know my chickens are out for the first time. They're six weeks old. Well, minus two days. Uh, got the coop pretty much done. I got a few little touch-ups here to do and here and there, but for the most part, it is finished. And uh, I mean, they're living in it. Um, and I got the run done. I thought I'd show you what I was doing here. So let's turn this camera around and show y'all what I got going. So far, there's my coop and my run. Now that door does not stay there. That is temporary. Um, I just wanted to let my chickens out for the first time today. And that's the last thing I got to do is build the door for this uh, there. And then up along the ridge there, I've got to put the mesh, the uh, uh, hardware cloth, and then the fascia on there and one side in the back. Um, i got the mesh up there today. I've got to put it up on that end yet. Um, but my chickens, well, it's going to be hard to see from over here. I may have to go around the other side. The sun's pretty bright. It is almost 80 degrees here today. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, they're real hard to see. It's not going to focus in, is it? Let's come around the other side here. This is a mess back here. I'm still working on this a little bit. So there's some. I've got some of them in the shade here. I got one that's bald that got picked on a little bit. And one that's got some missing down the front of the neck. Uh, that was before I even got them moved out here to the coop. They were in that little 4x4 four four brooder I had. And there's too many chickens in one spot, I guess. Uh, this one over here is giving itself a dust bath. Now, back in this area here, about right across there, I'm going to put some 2x6s. And that, the reason this metal is back here, that is going to be my compost area. And then up off from the roof up here, I'm going to put a gutter into a 55 gallon barrel that will self feed into a five gallon bucket with a float. So they'll have an automatic waterer. They'll have 55 gallons of water. Of course, I'm gonna use a food grade barrel. Um, and then their uh, food is gonna be in a 55 gallon drum. Um, their dry food will be. And uh, it will be, uh, uh, I, I'll show you how I'll build that here later. But uh, all in all, this thing is coming along good. I got the steps up for them. Uh, I love that door. That that door is, uh, it's just like an elevator. It's got a little stop in it. Keeps everything from, uh, it will not smash your chickens. They will not get caught in it. And as you can see, I got the mesh up here. I don't know if you can see this, but that mesh runs clear out here. And I'm going to be doing the same thing all the way around that for predators keep the predators out i've already got all this done around here i still got to put the dirt in and everything but um and then my my coop um i'm going to put a couple more windows in yet uh, we're doing the deep letter method in here wow it's really hard to see uh but you see i got a couple windows in with the mesh in them and then the windows closed i'm going to put a couple up here in the front and one in the back I'm not worried about this side over here. That's going to be under the roof anyway. Um, right now, that's that's their water and their food. I got them up on platforms. They don't get near as dirty. They still do a bit, but not near as dirty. And part of the reason it's kicked up right now is because we just put new bedding in here. And I was in here chasing the chickens out for the first time to get them out the door. Uh, but... Just some small things I gotta do yet. I still gotta put the the uh, soffit fascia on up there. Um, like I said, put the mesh down here on the ground uh, to keep the predators from being able to get in. Um, but all in all, uh, I'm satisfied. Uh, another three and a half months or so and we should start getting eggs um, a little later down the line I don't know if I can get in get a view I don't know if y'all are seeing this good or not because 
the, the camera's not looking like it's focusing real good through that mesh. But, uh, and this sun is so bright right now. So bright. It's been really hot, but yeah, I'll get this door built. That's actually a screen door that goes, well, we probably won't be able to see up there. Well, right over there when I get the back deck put on. Hopefully this year the back deck will be done. And that's our screen door for the back door that's already installed. Uh, just can't put it on because there's no deck to stand on to put it on. But you see all my windows are homemade. Uh, everything here is homemade. Most of this was done from leftover scraps. Or leftovers, I won't say scraps, but leftovers from uh, when we built the home. And uh, I mean, I did have to buy some stuff. Of course, I bought the stuff for the run. Uh, but the metal I had is left over as you can see I still got metal laying around back here and a lot of it I'm gonna figure out what's good and what ain't and take the rest of it to the scrap yard but it's got a full roof on The main part of the run to keep it from getting all muddy and nasty and then of course I wanted this open uh, for the uh, uh, Composting area and for them to be able to get out underneath the water too and it's got mesh i know you can't tell from this direction but it's got mesh running across the top up there too so nothing can get in from the top um that's the fascia i've got to still put on this side right there and i got to put a piece of uh, soffit on the back side but for the most part uh i'm happy Kim's happy. She's tickled pink. She's having fun with these birds. Uh, I never knew that uh, she would get into it that much, but she's really, really having a lot of fun. She come out here today and uh, climbed inside the coop and uh, stirred up the, the flooring and put some new bedding in and uh, uh, come out here when I let the chickens out and was feeding them some mealworms and uh, they're over there having a blast right now. Uh, I can see them real good from here. Let's see if we can turn. Yeah. See if I can zoom in on them a bit. But yeah, they're doing really good over there. Well, that was a lot of my leghorns right there, the white leghorns. And uh, I'm still not sure what all of them are for 100%, but uh, uh, I know there's some copper morans in there. I know there's a, a right in the center of the screen is a Buff Orpington, Orrington or however they pronounce it. And then there's there's several other ones in there. But uh, I don't know, we're happy. Uh, we are now gonna be chicken farmers. Uh, right on the back side, all that down in there is gonna get raised bed gardens. So we're gonna start raising our own gardens here. Uh, that is my next move here, probably in the next couple weeks, is putting those raised bed gardens in uh, so we can get them started. And uh, then uh, fence all this back in. I mean, we own way up in there, but we're going to fence it down in here across to the back of the building and around this and then straight across this pole back over here to the edge of the building. And then I'm going to put a uh baluster rail and and stuff across this so can't get in and out that way and make a place so when i get the back deck done uh my dogs will have a dog door and be able to get outside whenever they want and i don't have to worry about them getting away and all that kind of good stuff so i got lots of work ahead of me and that's just on the outside i still got much to do on the inside but it's coming along um a lot of you may know um, I got off the internet 90% of the time um, I was having a lot of problems uh, with uh, stress I'm gonna say stress uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't do anything I, I couldn't get to get will to get up and do anything get out and and uh, see 
the world or get any of this done would have never got done um, so I left all of telegram uh, completely closed it down closed all my other social media except for Twitter and YouTube and the rest of it's gone uh, I'm done with it and uh, I was having a lot of uh, heavy chest pains um, I have been to the doctor uh, they told me they thought I had a clogged artery. They thought I had uh, myocarditis um, um, and a valve not working in my heart right. And now the valve in my heart, they have, uh, I'm trying to get this working, hang on to this phone a little better. Uh, the valve in my heart is still a little bit off. Um, we went and did a stress test. We went and did a, a, uh, oh, uh, echocardiogram and they run blood test on me and uh, believe it or not everything come back good I mean we were doing some praying we're doing quite a bit of praying because uh, we weren't sure what was going on um, I got off the internet stopped messing with all that stuff stop worrying about what's going on around in the world um, I still keep it you know I still know what's going on but I don't harp on it and all this went away. Um, I think between the prayers. Uh, and and uh, that was one of the things that was heavy on me. Was uh, I, It was like I was being told by the Lord or by uh, an angel or by whatever. That I was to get away from that stuff. I needed to get away. Um, and I did. And everything, all my problems seem to go away. I've been getting up early in the mornings. Early for me is 9 or 10. Um, which I will sleep until 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, when I was on the internet all the time, I wouldn't go to bed till 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, now I'm in bed by between 10 and midnight. And it has made a world of difference in how I feel. And how much I can get done now. My back and neck are still absolutely killing me. Uh, I'm leaning against the car right now because my back is just wow. Uh, I've been at this uh, coop real hard for the last four days. We've had finally got some good weather, and uh, but I wanted to let everybody know I'm doing good. Miss Kim's doing okay. She still has some problems. Uh, they're working on her. Um, I would keep her in your prayers for me. Um, but we're doing we're doing fine and i'm really happy uh that i got away from all that i really am um i miss you guys i'm gonna try to be on here a little bit more uh now that i'm getting things done i'll uh, show you what i'm doing how things are going uh i'm still like i said i'm keeping up with the world i'm just keeping it up at a whole lot slower pace uh i've picked uh like two or three guys to get my news from and I have left everything else. I'm, I'm done with it. And couldn't have been a better decision. Uh, I don't even carry this phone with me. 90% um, of the time it sits on my desk upstairs. So, you know, I just, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just I just know I'm better. I, I feel so much better. Uh, I'm a little rough, but I've been working my butt off out here sweating all day too, so. I might look a little rough, but uh, it's still coming. Uh, come next month, finally get my upper teeth taken out. Within the next two months, I'll be able to smile at y'all because I'll actually have a full set of teeth again. I got my lowers, but I don't wear them because they just they're uncomfortable without the uppers, and uh, so I don't wear them too much. But as a matter of fact, I think I've worn them four times since I got them about four or five months ago. Um, but y'all have a great day. God bless. I uh, just wanted to show you all what I was doing, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Later.